Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today is the Dungeness Crab season opener here in California. So, we're gonna catch some crab. And I'm already hungry thinking about it. I'm gonna start dropping my pots right here. Well, not the, they're hoop nets. I got these volcano shaped ones. I have four of these and one of the single round, just the flat ones. It's a bit of a foggy morning to start, so the lenses might get a little wet. So, apologies in advance if it's wet and you can't really see very well. I have a variety of bait. This one right here has some salmon in it, or no, not salmon. Oh yeah, it's got some salmon scraps and also herring. Oof. So we'll give that a try right here. See you later. I'm just gonna make sure it hits the bottom. It should be hitting the bottom right now. There it is. Okay. One down, four to go. Alright, let's work our way that way. Check it out. I painted my buoys, these little orange stripes on them just so they look a little bit different than everybody else's because everybody has the same red and white one. All right, we're gonna move about 100 feet to the next spot. First one I dropped is at 820. 820. All right, second bait. This is all catfish. See how that works. Okay, number two, down. Hoop number three, going down. So this is a little bit deeper, about 40 feet. I went a little 10 foot deeper, 10 feet deeper. All right. All right, number four, going in. And the last one. And this one is back at around 40 feet. And that's five hoops down. So we dropped the first one at 820 and it is now 904. So now I'm gonna go back to the first one and pull that up. So I basically did a big circle. Well, it's more of an oval going from 30 feet to 50 feet and kind of dropping one, two at 30, and one at 40, one at 50, one at 40 again, and then back. Let's go back. Pick up our first. Okay, here's my first one. Ready? Gotta do this pretty fast. Get the slap out of the way. Let's go. Nothing. Nothing here. There's one baby ass one. That's it. That's it. All right, we'll move this spot. All right, where's my second one? Should be right around here. All right, here's my second one. What do we got? Nothing again. Same little guy. What? All right, that was the catfish bait. Yeah, they don't like the catfish. All right, we're moving it. OK, 
Okay, first two pulls of the season. Not good. All right, let's go deeper. At 30 feet, it's not the day. All right, here's my third one. Okay. Ooh, let's hope for a better, better results this time. Come on. No. There's nothing. What? What? Just one tiny red rock crab. What is this? Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, we're definitely not having an ideal start here. Hopefully the one at 50. It's got some crab in it. All right, I'm thinking this one's gotta have some in there. I don't know about this. It was about the same. What? Nothing. Nothing. Oh my God. I can tell they didn't even come and touch the bait. All right. Well, I guess we kind of, we got to completely move, I guess. Ah! Alright, day's still early. Alright, here goes number five. crab Just want to mention this year's crabbing regulations for California. The commercial crabbing season is delayed, but for recreational fishing, the season is now open, but no traps are allowed to protect the whales from entanglement. However, you are allowed to use these hoop nets and crab snares, or by hand as well. Still heavier. Yes. No, 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 I lost the big one. There was a huge one that just came off. Oh my god. Just right at the right at the surface. That one was huge. But I think these are two keepers. Finally. Yeah, this one's gotta be a keeper. For sure. Yep, easy. Six and a quarter. Another male, this one is quite borderline. And the size limit is five and three quarter oh, inches. No. It's over six inches. Another solid keeper actually. All right, let's drop back down immediately in the same spot. Dang, that could have been three keepers right there. I thought about jumping in, but it's a little cold out here. Man, that was a relief. I was starting to think, am I going to skunk on opening day? All right, let's check another one. It was heavy too. Come on, keepers. Oh, nope. Bunch of tiny ones. That's a 
big one. Don't even have to measure that. Heck yeah. I, I think that's a keeper as well. Yep. Over six inches. Alright, let's check this one. Now the keeper has three in that one. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Got three in that one. Yeah. All right, guys, we are halfway to a limit. The limit here is 10, so see if we can get there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a keeper in there. One keeper. Big one too. That's fatty. That's the one right there. <laughs> yeah. Nice big Dungeness crab right there. That is, uh, that's what you call a gauge buster. Over six and a half inches, this guy. Two, two smaller ones. We'll drop it back down. All right, now we're on a nice smooth roll. Whew. Here's another one. A couple of red rock crab. We'll see. Back down. Actually, a couple of keepers in here. Not too big, but that's a keeper. Oh, over six inches. Keeper all day. That was number seven. And this is number eight. Over six and a quarter. Yes. Number eight, baby. And that was on the hoop. That was on the OG hoop. I'm actually gonna keep that one and I'm not gonna put it back down because I think the other ones will probably have a couple keepers and we'll be done. We're out of here. Ah! Just missed it. Beep, beep. All right, let's finish this up. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Ow. Wow. <laughs> Pinch my thigh. Bastards. This guy's missing a claw. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, Jesus. This guy's missing a claw, but I think he's a keeper. Let's check. Yeah, that's a keeper all day. That's over six inches, almost six and a half. And this one might be a keeper too. It's a little small. It could keep. Move. Oh yeah, that's actually over six inches. It's hard. It's hard to get it in all the way, cause. Oh yeah, leave your claw, dude. All right, we need to be really sure with this one. So let's move his claw away, and there you go, over six inches. That's a limit. Just got my limit. Nice. That's your limit. Nice. Yeah. How about you guys? We're at nine. At nine? Nice. You wanna pull mine? You wanna pull a, I, I I have like three more in the water right now and they're like right here. Sure, yeah, our next one is like out there, so we'll come we'll get it on the way back. Okay.
Thanks. Well, guys, we did it. Even with the slow start, we managed to pull through and get our limit of Dungeness Crab on the Dungeness Crab season opener. Woo! Yes. Now let's go back to the beach. I'm starving. I didn't bring any lunch. Um, so what I'm going to do, I just want to cook these guys on the beach right now and, you know, just eat them just as is. And then with the rest, I can make something delicious, uh, some kind of recipe. But for today, I just want to enjoy the delicious, sweet Dungeness crab meat by itself. Let's get back to the beach. All right, guys, we're back on shore and I have my pot going right there. It's almost at a boil. Uh, I just brought some salt water in from the ocean and just dumped it straight in there. So once that gets going, we'll throw the crabs in there. And I think we'll have a, I got a few friends or a couple friends uh, joining me for the for the eating. And look at this. I got my lucky Dungeness crab shirt on. That's why I got that limit. If you guys want one, you can go to OutdoorChefLife.com and uh, they're available on there. Oh, I'm hungry. Let's eat a crab. Oh, come on, water, is it ready yet? Oh yeah, I think water's boiling. Oh yeah, water's boiling. Let's get these crabs in there. And putting crabs into boiling water just packages them immediately. Oh yeah, it's going. Only 10 minutes boiling and it's done. Oh, and look what I brought right here. You already know, kelp chili crisp. Get yours now. Links in the description. One more minute. All right, now that should be done. Let's turn that off. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna cook two more for uh, Sarah and Leo. So uh, I just bowled them up. They're they're ready. I just pulled them out. Nice. They Sarah and Leo are joining me. Yeah. They were out there as well. Day. It was a tough day, but we got it done. Yeah. All right. So um, and I just brought this. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you, you guys already That's know. The best seasoning. <laughs> All right. And I got, beer. got the beer. Oh yes. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take a beer. Thank you. This was Thank the only yeah. IPA they had. Bottle opener. All right. They went on a little beer run for me <laughs> while I cook the crab. Nice. Cheers. All right, cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is the most rain I've seen since oh, moving yeah. here. Or I guess honestly, not the most, but like most consistent. Yeah, this is. It was drizzly out there today. Yeah. yeah. All right, I think these have cooled down enough. That's good. Go ahead, grab one. Sure. You want a smaller one? Sure. The bigger one? Yeah, the smaller one. Ooh. Nice and good. warm. You know? Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Great. Oh. Oh, oh my look god, at look butter. at that. The crab butter is looking good. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm good. Come on, let me get some of this meat. <laughs> oh. Mm. Ooh. Just warms the whole body. Yeah. Just a yeah. little bite. It's alive. Literally two hours ago. Actually no. <laughs> two minutes ago. Only only like 15 <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> All right, now I gotta get some with the chili crisp. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's it, that's looking good. That's good. Cold one. 
worth it. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, worth it. Mm. Worth it for sure. Oh, that's good. Let me get that claw meat. I'm gonna go with a little, ch a little chili and a little bit of crab butter. Ooh, snap. Woo! That's good. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> well, guys, today was definitely worth it. That was a fun adventure. Struggled in the beginning, but we pulled through. Got our limit of Dungeness crab. Here on the Dungeons Crab Opener. All right, guys. Thank you for watching another episode. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. And let me know what else you want to see cooked with the Dungeness Crab, because now I have a bunch. What recipes would you like to see with these guys, with the rest of it?